Hi, let's see how to fix the star pets error codes 7 and 13. Are you dedicated the star pets player who is encountered the frustrating error codes 7 and 13 but fear not? In this particular video, we will delve into the perplexing world of the star pets error codes 7 and 13, providing you the effective solutions to resolve these issues and get back to enjoying your game play hassle free. So let's see how to fix the star pets error code 7 and 30. The first method is check the star pet server status. Before trying any kind of troubleshooting methods, try to visit the website updownradar.com to check the server status of the star pets. If there is any kind of maintenance or if there is any kind of temporary ad hoc maintenance is going on. In that case, you just need to wait for some time then you can try again later okay so in this particular website the status will be updated so now you can see the server status is up and the server code status code is 200 okay suppose if in this case if the server is down means it will be updated here in that case you just need to wait for some time the second method is refresh and reload try reloading and refreshing the StarPets website or the app you are also required to check the internet connection stability so make sure to check the speed of your internet from the website fast.com if the internet speed is low then you need to fix it from your end by resetting your router or the modem or you can contact the internet service provider okay suppose if you are using the subsets website click the refresh button on your web browser this will reload the current page and may help you to resolve the issue so what you can do is like just visit the Starfetch website. Okay, suppose if this is the Starfetch website, if you are facing any kind of issues, try to click on this refresh button. So that will fix any kind of temporary glitches. App. If you are using the Starfetch app, you can try closing the app and then reopening it. This will especially help you to refresh the app and may resolve the issues you are experiencing the third method is restart your device some sometimes a simple restart of the device can help you to resolve the temporary issues so turn off the device and wait for few seconds then turn it back on to see if the issue persists so in case of windows you can just press the window button click on the power button click on restart that will fix any kind of temporary glitches the fourth method is check for the StarPets updates. Okay, suppose if you are using the StarPets app, make sure that you are using the latest or the updated version. If you are using the older or the outdated version, you will face these kind of issues. If you are not updated to the latest version, try to update it. Visit the StarPets website and go to the StarPets website and log into your account. Go to the StarPets website. And uh, here you can log into your account and uh, check for the updates if there is any kind of update or if there is any kind of latest update is there then try to update it and finally you can update the game if there is no notification about the update check the game settings for an option to update the game and if there is an option click on it and follow the instructions to update the game the fifth method is wait for the technical work to finish. These error codes may be due to the technical work on the website according to the search. The website undergoes the technical work a couple of times, say, day to improve the site during this time. The bots may not be active. So you need to wait for the technical work to finish. After the work is completed, you should be able to replenish the withdraw items again. The sixth method is contact the StarPet support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the StarPet support team for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and give you the better solution. Okay, so you can visit the website StarPet's customer support team. And uh, so here you can submit your request the technical team they will get back to you and they will come up with a solution and they give you the better solution 
it. So here you can select the category problem with the account and here you can enter all your details then you can just finally click on done of the link. So this is how you can submit a request or you can also submit your queries or the problems to the support team. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.